Farina launch, bunch of things have changed. And one of the biggest things that actually got my attention is Venti. Seriously, like this guy just got so better. We got Hu Tao working with Farina. We got Ayaka, Freeze team. Now the third character that got my most attention right is... Now, I wish I was sitting at the top of a tree. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Ayaka cannot reach there. So, <laughs> so we got Venti, the next character that I want to play with Farina. We're going to look at Venti freeze team with Ayaka, which is just a treat to go and play with. But I do want to show you what Farina is capable with Venti. We got like two different teams. One of the teams we're going to have Dendro because Farina needs a healer and there's like literally nobody else for something like this. Yeah, the domain does give him extra 100 elemental mastery, so don't look at that. You know, Baiju's burst with uh, Venti's burst combined. Yeah, it can hit all the enemies inside of Venti's burst. Oh, you loser, just go inside the damn thing. Yeah, Baiju's burst can hit the enemies inside Venti's burst and all three of them. Means like you get like uh, somewhere more than three Dendro cores. Do Venti's burst. Farina's uh, minions can hit everybody inside Venti's burst. And that changes a lot of things in my opinion. Yeah. Also, what I sh want to show you is after doing this, this and do Venti's burst. This guy's E skill and burst. So the hyper bloom we can do for like 24,000, 25,000 hyper blooms. Just like that after Sorling Hydro or Sorling Electro. I think like this is what Venti has to offer with Farina. And don't get me wrong, this team works in Spiral Abyss and we're just going there. Okay, it's absolutely required us to go there and test out this stuff. Yeah. Because if you don't play in Spiral Abyss, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I don't need team to go and work inside domains. We need the team to absolutely decimate the Spiral Abyss. No, 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 not Hu Tao. Like, why am I? <laughs> That's natural for me, okay? Hu Tao. I'll pretty much go and use Hu Tao team in the second half. Because I, all, what I also want to show you all is that um, these guys. Okay, do this. Oh, no. Run this side. Doing this and going back to Venti. Although you cannot crowd control these guys, but you can stagger them in a really bad way and uh, it actually works in your favor. Run back, run back. Now this is what he's gonna do for you. Watch this. Uh, I made like a stupid mistake in the rotation, but don't mind. Like this is the damage that I'm talking about that you can ex go and expect from Venti. I think this is where you should understand what Venti can go and do for you, yeah. Watch this. Come on! Stupid fucking game, bro. Stupid game, stupid game. Oh wait, those two are already dead. Oh man, this game really does go and suck. Oh no, we're taking damage. They dead. Now this is the place where, where you actually see what Venti is capable of. Look at the crowd control of this team, okay? Okay, like both of these Abyss Heralds are gonna be standing side by side like a couple. Look at them, they're so cute with each other. And you can continuously do this, okay? Venti just gets so much particles. So, I think like that was like a good example of what Venti is capable of with Furina. Yeah, because her E-Skill stays on field for like forever and it goes anywhere where Venti's burst would pull the enemy. So I think that changes a billion, billion, billion thing. The, uh, everything how you go and play with Venti, that changes everything. The other character that I think you can go and use in place of Raiden Shogun, which I would not actually go and recommend you to do, but because I think like... If you're getting an Electro character, it has to be Raiden Shogun as the first one. Then I'll say you can go and use Yaimiko. I took her artifacts, gave it to Kaching. I was hoping like Kaching is gonna be a good uh, good replacement overall, but nah, she totally sucked. Like um, again, uh, don't use her. We're gonna talk about using Kaching in some different team, but not in this one. So we got Yaimiko. The stats in the end looks like this, 77. I'll say like playing with Raiden Shogun is way better than playing with her. Like, let's just be honest, okay? Okay, these guys are not with each other and it's just frustrating. Yeah, but you guys can follow me here and get killed? Yeah, that's a good thing to go and do, bro. Just uh, follow me and die. <laughs> that's another form of crowd control and this sucks that I don't have energy. Oh no, this is looking bad for me. No, 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 no. You skill, you skill, you skill. Please. 
Man. So you gotta have Venti's burst ready as soon as these guys appear. You guys get the point. This is the team. Okay, the second one. You got Yai Miko, Raiden Shogun. Use any electric character that you like. I'll, I'll just go with Raiden Shogun every single time. I don't even consider using any other one, okay? Because again, we got triple Archons, baby. Previously, the idea was this. Like, I was using this team, and in place of Venti, you can actually also have Kazuha. For, with, if you have Yelan, okay? Because Frida changes a lot of things. Yeah, like Farina changes a lot of things. If you don't want to use Farina in this team, use Yalon with Kazuha. And this team works pretty darn well. Want me to come along? No, we're not. We're not. Now, let's talk about the Freeze team, which I think is like seriously something that people will absolutely go in love. A pleasure to be working with you. Don't get me wrong. Freeze team is the strength of Venti. We just got an extra Hyper Bloom team, which was actually good. Let's go and destroy Spiral Abyss. You don't particularly need to go and use full Elemental Mastery Venti over here. Crit Venti is also okay for this. The Elemental Mastery one just does slightly higher damage, I'll say. In the previous video when I talked about Ayaka's Freeze team, we majorly looked at Kazuha, okay? But if you tell me which team will I go and use with Ayaka and Farina, it's gonna be Venti. Every single time I will be choosing Venti over Kazuha every time if i have charlotte but because i already have charlotte venti ayaka and farina is going to be my actual freeze team that i will be using majority of the time so why charlotte is good because she can do this okay she can do apply cryo and let my venti swirl like this i want to save venti's burst for the next rotation which is going to be really frustrating to deal with deal without is collective no, 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 no. Bro, I, um, I hate myself. I hate myself for not doing the right rotation. And her E skill is gone. But we're fine. Because we can crowd control them like an idiot. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> There's not much of a thing called issue. We can just kill them like this. Oh, I froze you. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. She almost died. Come on. I know I can kill you. I have faith in you. I can kill you within two minutes. <laughs> me. Look at me. Look at my face. I hope you go and enjoy both of these teams. And I hope, like, you have a lot of fun playing with them. Like, if you have Freena, I think with Venti, she just perfected a freeze team. She made Raiden Shogun with Venti even more fun to go and play and yeah it does damage man i will always be using freeze team okay because again it's the most relaxed one 